<clears throat> okay, here we are. We're at the end of the chapter. We're at 5, 8, and we've just got two problems here we're going to solve. Um, number 4 is just set up uh, quite typically for these 100 times, then in parentheses 1.05 raised to the exponent t. That's equals 350. Well, we want to get at that t, get it by itself, so we take away the layers. We divide both sides by 100, and those cancel. When we divide this by 100, we get 3.5, so 1.05t equals 3.5. Okay, now resist the temptation to divide both sides by 1.05. This is not times t, that's an exponent. The only way we can get at that exponent is if we take the log of both sides. It does not matter if you take the log, um, common log, base 10, or the natural log. So I'm just going to take the natural log because I can kind of sneak an ln in right there. And when I do that, that t comes out front. And so I've got t times the ln of 1.05 is equal to the ln of 3.5. Well, our calculator can find that. Our calculator can find that. So there's t. All I need to do is divide. So t is equal to the ln of 3.5 divided by the ln of 1.05. And you can do that on your calculator. You don't need me. Type that in, ln of 3.5 divided by ln of 1.05. Okay. The next problem I'm going to do is problem number 15. And that is right there. It's going to be the log base 2 of x, 5x, sorry, 5x minus log base 2 of x plus 6, and that's going to be equal to 3, all right? So the trick here is just that we set, we have a subtraction, all right? We know that if we're subtracting two logs of the same base, I can write them as a single log, base 2 of these two things divided, 5x over then x plus 6. And once you get that, then you remember we can get out of log mode by canceling the log and bringing the 2 over as our base. 2 to the third equals 8. So now I've got a simple algebraic 5x over x plus 6 is equal to 8. All right, and you don't need me to show you how to solve that. Put it over one, cross multiply and solve, and you'll get an answer. All right, that's how you do those.